Okay, so I'm going to talk about doing Foley uh, using Premiere and an external recorder. Um, this could be a Zoom recorder if you have it, or it could just be your iPhone. It's up to you, or your smartphone, not necessarily just an iPhone, anything that records. So I have a video imported into Premiere, and I created a sequence from that video, and we're just going to Foley a section of this. So right now we have this little section right here where this character runs across the grass. I'm just going to mute the original audio. And we're going to foley that. So I'm inside, and how do I foley grass? Well, hey everybody. Um, so I just got Giant Eagle there, which I guess is going to become less and less available as they soon phase them out. Um, and this is going to be our grass. However, I'm just going to mute it a little bit because it is a little too crunchy. So I'm just taking like an old cotton old t-shirt that I cut up and cover it up. And this is going to be our grass sound. Okay. Let's try it the way. So just like in the Foley studio, how we have uh, that box of old, um, analog tape that makes it sound, this kind of approximates it pretty well as well. Alright, so I'm going to click away the screen. Okay, so getting back to here, we have our section, and what we're going to want to do is we want to loop this section. So if we look down here, we don't see the playback loop button. If you do see it, you're good. If not, you can add it by clicking on this little button editor, and where is it? Right there, and drag it in. Boom. Okay, so now if we select that and keep it selected, it'll loop an in and out point. So now we're going to import the Foley ADR beeps. So there we are, Foley ADR beeps. And I'm going to drag them down to a track. Okay, and these are the same beeps that we've used in the Foley ADR room. And we're going to place them right at the beginning where we begin to see her appear in frame right, right there let's say okay so we'll have she appears okay now we're going to create an in and an out point shortcut for in is i shortcut for out is o so here we have our in and out point. Because we're set to loop, if I play this, it's going to loop playback. Runs through the section. I like to leave a little bit at the end just to recover. There we are again. Okay, I'm going to adjust the end because I don't like how it goes to the next shot. I think that's distracting. So I'm just going to bring the end point in a little bit. You can also drag the end point and see how I just did. Okay, so this is a loop that we're going to use. And I hear the heat just kicked on, so I'm going to shut that off and pick it up after that stops. Okay, so what we have is our in and out point marked with the beeps, marking out the section we want to fully. And we can just hit play. And it'll loop over and over. So I'm going to take my iPhone, and believe it or not, it's not a bad thing to record with. I mean, it records. <laughs> um, and I'm just using the uh, Photos application. Um, I think there's some, uh, there's a, maybe a memo recorder, which I think would be fine. And I'm going to look and see if there are any actual dedicated audio recording apps, and I'll send you a link if I find anything. But the phone is just fine. It's going to record video. You're just not going to use it. Um, the other thing you can do while I'm talking about this is if you're recording dialogue and you have one of these with a little speaker, um, this is basically a lav mic and it's going to function like a lav mic and records pretty well. Um, so if you're doing any ADR, I strongly recommend, recommend this if you have it. 
But for this, I'm going to use actually the microphones that are or the microphone that's on the phone. And I'm just going to kind of place it on the shelf next to me. You can't see it, but just take my word for it. It's there. I have my Foley tool. And I'm going to, I'll try to keep this in frame. Um, I was going to let it loop. And let me get my recorder going. I'm sorry, I said photo app. I mean the camera app, not photos app, sorry. Um, the camera app. Okay, so I'm switching it to video. I'm going to place it down. So the microphone on an iPhone, I don't know where it is on, um, on Android phones, but the microphone is up there. Um, so I'm going to place this down. And, you know, you have to be a little creative about how you strategically place it. I'm able to lean in, so it's sort of pointing at the uh, the bag like a microphone. Um, yeah, all right. I'm gonna, not going to be able to do this on screen, so I'll just get rid of this. Um, okay, so I'm going to loop this. So I'll go to my phone, stop it, and I'm going to transfer the file from my phone to my computer. If you don't use AirDrop, it's awesome. I know, I'm sorry, I'm talking about um, all Apple products. It's, it's all I have ever used. Um, but I'm sure there's some options on um, Android as well. Oops, let me do it again. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to import that into the project. All right, we're done. Go away. I imported it three times. Same thing. Anyway, okay. So if I open it, here we go. Here's we don't need the picture. I'm just going to click on the waveform icon. Here's our waveform, and let's see what we have. Okay, I don't really get the beeps in that take. Not bad. Let's see what this next one sounds like. I like this one here. So I'm going to mark an in point, I, keyboard, out point, and I'm just going to drag it down. I know there's other commands to get it down, but I'm just dragging it. Okay, so I'm dragging it down to another track below the beeps, and this is a good way to help line up the ADR we did by just lining up the beeps. I'm just going to make this a little bigger so we can see it. And if you don't know, you can actually nudge clips in Premiere by selecting them and then holding down Command and using the arrow keys. So I'm just going to line up the beeps. I know that sound looks pretty good. Um, however, we're going to mute the beep track and let's see what this looks like. All right, not too bad. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit by EQing this, just so we can kind of make sure it's sounding okay, since it's a bag from Giant Eagle. All right, so I'm going to go to my effects library, audio effects, and sorry, I have a lot of plugins, and you're not going to see all these on your version of Premiere. I'm just going to bring up an EQ, um, we'll choose graphic equalizer, because I think it's going to be the easiest. 
is to explain. Oh wait, no, nope. how about this? We'll do a high pass, which is a high pass, if you remember, is the same thing as a low cut is in FabFilter. Uh, when I added it, sorry, added it twice. Um, where it cuts out the lows. I'm going to type in the number. We'll cut everything 500 and below. I'm try a little more. Try 750. Not bad. Uh, just to sort of test it out, let's add in an ambience just to get a sense of um, how it sits in a mix with other elements. So I'm going to add a new audio track and I'm going to go to Soundly. So if I haven't yet, I'll be sending an email about this. Soundly is a sound effects database that you can download for free. Um, and it's really cool if you have your own library, you can catalog the library and you can search it and then it allows you to just select the section from the sound that you want and just add it right into whatever you want, whether it be Pro Tools or Premiere or Audition. Um, however, uh, the email I'll be sending is going to give you a code so you can access Soundly Pro. And what's really cool about Soundly Pro is in their cloud, they have a pretty good library that you'll have access to. And I feel like this would be really good for you to have while you're trying to do all this work at home. So anyway, so I'm in Soundly. I'm going to type in Meadow. There we go. Okay. Um, and you'll see we have a whole bunch of sounds that come up. And I'm just going to go to this one, maybe this one right here. Sounds good. First time. So you see here it displays the waveform down below. And the really cool thing about Soundly is you can just drag and select a section. So let's say it were like bird sounds and you needed one bird call or two bird calls. You can just select that many. And you can drag this to your desktop or you can drag it right into the application. So I'm going to click on my selection and boom, it just popped right over to Premiere and I'm able to drag it right onto a track and there we go. So let's just trim this in a little bit. I guess I don't really need to do that. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. I'm going to trim off the beeps. So let's see what we have. Right. Well, it's not bad, but let me just lower this. I'm going to lower the, these. It's kind of a longer shot, so probably this that would be a lot lower. Not bad. Yeah, let's put some perspective in at the end just to sell it. I'm just going to do this. Let's see what we get. Maybe I'll do it at the beginning too. In fact, let's do this. Right. Normally you would say this for mixing, but you know, right now we're just trying to see if this giant eagle bag is even working with this grass. Pretty cool. You can pan it as well. The other cool thing you could do, uh, I'm not going to do it now. But anyway. So there you go, that's a really quick and dirty way to do Foley when you don't have access to the proper studio to do it in. Um, another approach, uh, just keep watching because there's a clip from the making of the Hunger Games where they actually just went out with an iPad and recorded their Foley out in the field. And that's another option for doing it. One of my biggest goals in making the environmental nature of the arena seem more organic was to record Foley outside. So we tried it a couple of times. We, the first trip we took, uh, Catherine Harper, our Foley artist who did all the footsteps, we went out to uh, the Huntington, and there they had the movie on an iPad, and they had a microphone strapped to her, and then also somebody with a boom. So I had two microphones where I could choose from a distant sound field where she's you know, 100 yards away walking towards camera and I could crossfade and, and go from a duller mic angle to a closer up sound. And then also get 
a more vast array of surfaces as opposed to the confines you might find in a 8x8 or in some cases 4x4 Foley pit. And that made all the difference in the world because most of the shots that it's production sound, there's no footsteps on it. It's a radio mic and it's her clothes rustle and, and that's about it. And everything you hear in this film is recreated and they did a phenomenal job. Hunger Games was my first film in the 7-1 format.